in play. Ball inbounded to Caroline. They cross out court with six seconds. This shot, one of the greatest in Nevada basketball history, was more than the culmination of a historic comeback. This shot signaled a story of redemption for Wolfpack Hoops and for its head coach, Eric Musselman. But how did we go from this to that? Let's rewind. It took me to nevadasports.net. Nevada's decision to hire Trent Johnson as its coach in 1999 set the course for the Wolfpack to become a national basketball brand. The next decade ushered in seven WAC championships, four NCAA tournament berths, a historic smashing of number seven ranked Kansas, a 19 point brutalization of number two ranked Gonzaga that secured Nevada's first berth in the Sweet 16. Trent Johnson puts the hand up and says, that's enough guys. We've made our point for this afternoon. What a terrific effort and game plan establishment by Nevada. The glass slipper has been passed from Spokane's arena. Nevada is going to its first ever Sweet 16. The Wolfpack went from a basketball program with a sparse history of winning to one of the country's top mid-major programs. 200 miles west in Oakland's East Bay, Eric Musselman's rise mirrored that of Nevada, only on the NBA stage. The son of an NBA head coach, Musselman cut his teeth in the minor leagues, no silver spoon, with stops in the CBA and USBL at outposts like Rapid City, South Dakota, and Bradenton, Florida. Not long after Nevada hired Johnson, Musselman got his first shot as a first-time NBA head coach when the Golden State Warriors tabbed him as their leader in 2002. A 17-win year-one improvement earned Musselman a runner-up finish for NBA Coach of the Year behind five-time champion Greg Popovich. But the good times wouldn't last forever, not for Nevada basketball and not for Eric Musselman. After five straight WAC titles from 2004 to 2008, Nevada basketball began to weaken limited to the CBI and Mark Fox's final two seasons as head coach before he left for greener pastures in Georgia. David Carter, a longtime Wolfpack assistant, was hired as Fox's replacement. He mustered just one winning season in his final five years on the job before being fired in 2015, when Nevada won just nine games, its fewest in 15 seasons. What was once a mid-major power was now a Mountain West afterthought. Meanwhile, Musselman's path hit a similar dead end. After two years at Golden State, he was fired following a change at general manager. When Chris Mullen came in as a general manager, you, you know, he's going to want his own guy. And, and, uh, and so, uh, you know, we felt like the two years was successful. After two more seasons as an NBA assistant, he got a second head coaching chance, this time in Sacramento. That season was a disaster. It started with Musselman being suspended for an embarrassing DUI arrest after a preseason game. It ended with him being fired after one year on the job as the Kings' eight-season playoff streak was snapped with a last-place finish in the Pacific Division. The rise and fall of Nevada basketball and Eric Musselman mirrored one another. Together, they would find redemption. Please welcome our new head basketball coach, Eric Musselman. We have a lot of work ahead of us, obviously, and uh, I think that all the guys are, are going to buy into what it's going to take uh, to grow and become a better basketball team over the next couple years. Nevada hired Musselman to replace Carter in March 2015. The results were immediate. He will come in with Steve Fisher. They did just that. Help sell him on the job. Oh, Bible hounding Marshall, a runner. Oh! Mark fires for three, missed it. Oh, and the tip slap by Oliver. Oh my goodness! Sam, my good friend, if you watch basketball for the next two weeks, you will not see anything as nasty as that. The Wolfpack went from nine victories to 24, nearly tripling its win total while capturing a CBI championship and an overtime thriller before a raucous crowd at Lawler Event Center. That was just the start of Musselman's Wolfpack tenure. And while his 2017 game at New Mexico was not the culmination of that era, it signaled Nevada was a national name, a program to be taken seriously.
New Mexico had established itself as one of the Mountain West's premier teams in the early 2010s. And while the program had slipped a little entering its 2017 contest with Nevada, winning at the fame pit was never an easy task. The Lobos entered their game against Nevada on January 7, 2017, a perfect 9-0 at home that season, while going 133-20 at the pit over the previous 10 years. Nevada entered that game 0-4 all-time in Albuquerque, each a double-digit defeat. A crowd of more than 11,000 fans greeted the Wolfpack, which predictably fell into a 13-point halftime hole before trailing by 25 points with 11 minutes to play. Game over. At least that's what everybody thought. The Wolfpack chipped away, cutting the deficit to 17 points with 8 minutes left. But Musselman subbed in walk-on Charlie Tooley with 2 minutes 42 seconds remaining, essentially waving the white flag with Nevada down 16 points. What happened next lives in Wolfpack lore. He steals it, gives to Tooley, who knocks down a triple. Here's the handoff I was talking about. Boom. Marshall for three, yes! Fires the three, <laughs> hit it again! They can do it again. He's waiting for it. Caroline, yes! They're not going away. Caroline gives to Marshall. Neely Hoyce, he was hit, banked at home anyway. It's to both, three-point game. Caroline's got 40 tonight, including a few threes. Marshall's hit a couple late. He goes up, some contact, no call. He banked it in anyways, and we're tied at 94. You have to be kidding me. New Mexico with the final shot. Three seconds left. Brown, he wants to take it. He fires, comes up short, overtime at the pits. An 11-point deficit wiped out in less than a minute. That set up one of Nevada's greatest shots. Welcome to a moment in Nevada Wolfpack history. Get the ball in play. Ball inbounded to Caroline. They cross that front with six seconds. He fires a three. Rattles home. And Nevada leads with 2.9 seconds left. They inbound to Brown. Up the floor. Throws up a prayer. Won't go. And Nevada completes the comeback. They win for the first time ever here at the pits. champions for the first time here in Reno. Coach Bossom had look at him. Showing off those points. Rebound to Cook. Throws it up ahead to Caleb Martin. Four seconds to go. And that will do it. They're going to just let him go. Cody Martin step back two. He's short. Rebound to Hall. They got to get the last shot. Tall gets the ball.